this section, I'd like to discuss summer annuals as an alternative summertime forage crop. There are many options out there for us for summer annuals. Um, many of those uh, have, have been used, and actually there are quite a few varieties of each of those out there right now. Uh, two of the more common ones are pearl millet and sorghum sudan, or sorghum sudan grass hybrids. The pearl millet, which is on the right-hand side of the screen here, is actually much more heavily tillered. You can see it's a little bushier. Uh, there are many more tillers or more shoots there than what you see on the sorghum sudan grass, and that's usually a good way of, of telling them apart. And pearl millet is, is one that uh, is very productive, even in some severe drought conditions, it can be quite productive. Uh, it can develop toxic nitrate levels, just like all of the summer annuals have the potential for, for building up nitrate levels that can cause the uh, animals to have uh, health problems. But you can also get away with, get, get away from uh, the prussic acid poisoning issues associated with uh, anything in the sorghum family. So the sorghum sudans actually have a risk of developing prussic acid poisoning. Now pearl millet is a little less palatable than the sorghum sudan and some of the other summer annuals, but it is easier to manage under grazing. It's much more forgiving because it does tiller out much better and it's much uh, easier to manage, especially under irrigation, if there's an irrigated component to your pasture system. We have a number of good varieties out there in the southeast. Uh, we have uh, uh, one called Tiff Leaf 3 that's actually a release from uh, the Tifton Station here in Georgia. And it's been a very, very good variety and good robust uh, variety over the years. But uh, there are also some good varieties from, from uh, southern states, the southern states 635 variety. And uh, Pin Leaf from Pennington is also one that's been looking very good in our trials as well. And we have quality data on, on some of this, but more importantly, we have a lot of yield data on, on pearl millet on our website. Now, sorghum sudan is one that's uh, a little bit higher yield potential. Uh, it can yield a little bit more than pearl millet does, actually quite a bit more. And it is also very high in quality, and especially the brown midrib varieties are much more digestible and much higher in quality. We'll talk about those in just a moment. But sorghum sudan is a little bit harder to manage under grazing. It's a little bit uh, less forgiving. Uh, it doesn't tiller out as much so that if you graze it too tightly, it can really cause some problems in its uh, recovery uh, time that it takes to rebuild that stand, rebuild that forage mass. Now the BMR varieties though are, are something that would be a great addition and the BMR stands for brown midrib. Brown midrib is an indication of this brownish color to the midrib of the, of the leaf. And what's giving it that color is, is a relatively lack, a relatively low amount of lignin. And that lower amount of lignin actually increases the digestibility of that crop. Now sometimes it's hard to see that on the, the leaves themselves. I like to slice open the bottom part of the of the stalk, and you can see that green that uh, brown color much more readily there uh, along the edges of the uh, the the stalk. Here's some of the yield data from Tifton uh, from our variety trials there, and you can see that the sorghum sudan grasses. There are several varieties that are out there on the market, and some of these are extremely productive. And generally, what we would recommend is any of those that are above the average. And so in this case, anything that's above about 27,700 uh, pounds of dry matter per acre, we would say that would be a recommended variety. Now, if you're going to choose a BMR variety, um, there are several good BMR varieties out there. It used to be that the BMR varieties had a little bit of a yield lag compared to their conventional counterparts, but that's not so much the case anymore. And the BMR varieties uh, make up for uh, any of that, of course, with the much higher digestibility and much higher quality. But there are a number of those BMR varieties that are looking very good, not only in terms of yield, but also in terms of digestibility. And a good number of those are out on the market these days. Here's an example of a research trial that was conducted in Texas where they substituted um, sorghum sudan, BMR sorghum sudan, 
as a substitute for corn silage. And you can see that both at the 45 and 35 percent of the diet for those milk cows, you can see that the BMR sorghum Sudan fared very well, not only in the milk production, which was not significantly different from corn silage at, at, within those two different levels, but also in milk fat production. So in components of the milk uh, were actually improved. So when you look at fat corrected milk, and kind of a bottom line comparison there, and you can see there that there was really not a whole lot of difference between uh, the BMR sorghum Sudan and the corn silage. So it makes for a good uh, comparison, a good uh, counterpart to uh, corn silage. Just some take home notes here. If we look at these BMR sorghum sudans, they're especially uh, uh, good for sustaining yields and quality, and as well as animal performance. And especially those uh, BMR6 variants, uh, that's a particular strain of the brown midrib trait, and, and that particular strain uh, has exceptional good yield and quality as a general rule. Not all of them do, but as most of them do. And so when you're looking for those varieties, look for a BMR6 uh, trait to that. We hope this has been helpful in a, as a look at some of the summer annual options that you have, in particular the more common uh, sorghum sudan and pearl millet options. And if you've got further questions, I encourage you to check us out on the web.